Well, spring has finally sprung. Got a nice warm day today. This bro tree is looking nice and green, but I'm not seeing the lot of fruit on it. Lots of buds, but not looking good. Had to chop down the oleanders. They're getting way overgrown again. Have some little buds starting on the apricot tree. I have no idea what happened here. One whole trunk of this olive tree is totally dead. It looks like something munched away at it. I don't know if it was the tent caterpillars that we took down the other day. I didn't know that they ate these things. Getting the hoses laid out to uh, water the trees. I saved my fireplace ash all winter long and put a ring around there because later on we've got to run some uh, uh, nitric acid through the hoses to clean them out and uh, the ash is alkaline that helps neutralize and it's good fertilizer for the soil. Cactus are growing well. Cats love to follow me around the property. They uh, think they're helping a little bit. All right, this is all the trimmings from the oleander. We'll let it sit here for a while and dry out, and then it goes into the fire pit. Agricultural water gets shut off in November, but I still grow winter vegetables. Uh, last winter, they didn't get enough water. We were in Canada for the two months, so they didn't do well. But uh, this year, I bought one of these 1,000-liter tanks. This one used to have latex paint in it. I give it a real good scrub down. And I'll fill that up before the water gets shut off. And that should be enough water for my winter vegetables. Is that fun? OK, let's go. Come on. Tomorrow, I'm going to attack all this, pull off the old tubes, uh, agricultural tubes, and dig this all up, pull the weeds out by the root. Here's an example of the winter vegetables that didn't get enough water. They've just gone to seed. But the onions are doing well. It's taken about three years or so. I've been building up this compost pile, letting it rot down. But with all the rain that we had in the last couple of weeks, the weeds have taken over. So now I have to carefully pull the weeds out before they go to seed and take them up by the roots. You can see there, it pulls up a lot of soil with it. So I just take it carefully to a bald spot and let it sit there for a few days. I'll trample it down, get the soil off of it. And that'll work its way into the ground and make the ground a little more fertile. Weather's looking good for this weekend. Hope we can get a phone call tomorrow. Pamela wants to jump off the mountain on Saturday with the paragliders. Blossoms on the plum tree are uh, pretty well finished. Hopefully I get some fruit this year. It's also going to need a good pruning. Fig tree is starting to bud out. These cactus here don't really get enough sunlight. They grow very tall, reaching for light. This one here is flopped over. I think I'm going to cut it off and bury it in a sunny spot. It'll reroot itself. Neighbors' cats spend most of their day over here at our place. This is their favorite spot. It's lots of soft grass here for them to lie in. Got some nisperos on the back side of the tree. Maybe the problem is the amount of sunlight that they're getting. Uh, hopefully I get a good crop. Didn't get much of anything last year. Lilacs are starting to bud out as well. Going to have to tackle these yuccas in the next few days too. They're getting wildly overgrown. Like to clean up the bottom of them and get them to more of a tree type of shape. Got another load of firewood. Pamela is doing a really professional job stacking it. Say hello, Pamela. And the last of the almond blossoms.
Very hazy out over the lake. Well, it's just about time for my afternoon beverage. I usually sit here and watch the sun go down over the horizon. One of the cats will always join me and sit out on the water cassette, look up and down the street, keep guard. And there's my little view of the lake, if you can barely see that little streak of blue there in the background through the haze. <laughs> 